We have been in a spiritual evolution as much as a biological evolution. Our spirits have been evolving as well as our bodies. And it's not the fact that we've been in a spiritual evolution, is that now it is really important that we understand why we're here and what our lessons are. Because change is happening in this world and we've got to raise our vibrational frequencies. Now more than ever, it's so important to figure out what our lessons are. I see individuals having different lessons as well as globally as a civilization. We're having lessons. We're having lessons about fear, about overcoming fear, about compassion, forgiveness, about love, about our heart chakras. I channel with a group of angels that's watching over our earth at this time. So we choose to come here because the souls that come here over and over become some of the most advanced souls around. It is hard, but we pick our lives. Every single one of you have picked your life. I talk quite a bit about reincarnation and karma in my book. And when I was going over what I wanted to speak about today, I was yawning. And y'all, that is not a good sign. <laughs> I said to my angels, what am I gonna do? And they said, tell the stories. So I'll tell some fun stories here today rather than talk about that. But we pick our lives and what we have is we have a life selection committee. And it's a very exciting time for us to be in spirit. We sort of go to this staging area and we usually bring an angel or a guide with us. But there are actually a group of angels, I call them the Life Selection Committee. They are masters, they are as old as time. What we see, and what they show me, is we sort of have these three-dimensional TVs that go by us. If you can kind of think of a 3D TV. We are able to stop those TVs and step into a life for a brief moment to see how that life feels. Now, when we pick our lives, we are looking at our spiritual advancement. What lessons do we need to get further up on the train? What lessons haven't we learned in past lives? We can choose any life we want. The choice is up to us. We can be someone from Asia, someone from Europe, North America, South America. This is just a temporary vessel. We pick what we want. Now, the Life Selection Committee in their infinite wisdom has a way of encouraging us to pick the right life. Maybe it's a little difficult and we're balking and we're not sure we want to do it, but they help move us towards that direction. Now, I have read about that we can reincarnate and our soul groups can be as many as 100 to 200 members. I myself have not channeled that. When I see soul groups, I see smaller ones, like five to 25. And as you know, we can choose to come together. We can choose to help each other. We can be parents, children, siblings, best friends. We can be a boss. Soul groups come together and work together in many ways. Our lessons can be incredibly easy or they can be incredibly, incredibly difficult. The harshness or ease of our lessons usually has to do with our guides. Maybe we spent a last life where we didn't progress very well and maybe the guides will decide to make your next life a little bit easier or a little bit harder. I have seen spiritual beings that are coming from all over the universe to come help us at this time. If you feel like the odd went out or, you know, this world is driving you crazy when you watch the news, you're probably a light worker here helping. I've asked the angels, how come they didn't come earlier? How come they didn't come before the Holocaust? World War I, World War II, the Korean War, the Gulf War, Afghanistan, pick one. There's tons of them. And they said that the energy was not high enough. We did not have a high enough vibrational frequency on this earth to sustain these advanced souls. But as more of you come, 
We raise the vibrational frequency on this planet, and it is important. It is important because change is coming. I don't know if you saw Wayne Peterson speak last night. He was amazing, and um, he spit out some dates, the exact same dates I got, about 2013 sort of being a mile marker for us, and a lot of change happening in 2025. So again, it's not the fact that we're in this spiritual evolution. It's that we need to remember who we are and why we're here. And we need to work on our lessons. We are running out of time. We need to get there. We need to understand these things. So vibrational frequencies, that is your energy, your aura, who you are. It is made up of the words that you speak. The actions that you take and even the thoughts that you think make up your vibrational frequency. Even sometimes it's past life stuff that comes to us. The angels have told me that there are two quick ways to raise your vibrational frequency and a fast way to lower your vibrational frequency. And the whole point here is we want to raise our vibrational frequency. One way we can raise it is by being grateful. A very simple and easy way to raise your vibrational frequency. Sometimes our lessons are hard, but we still need to be grateful for those lessons. Because no matter what happens to us, there is something to be learned. Things don't just happen for no reason at all. We must le learn from our lessons, whether they're easy or they're difficult. So being grateful, just say, thank you, angels. Thank you for this day. Thank you for that difficult woman I ran into at the grocery store. I learned a lesson about compassion and patience. Thank you for my difficult family member. I'm learning to love and to forgive and to overcome fear. Another way to raise your vibrational frequency is about being in service. And we are in hard economic times right now. And if you heard Wayne Peterson speak last night, you, you know that it's, this is all for a reason. Things are happening to us right now. Collapse of our governments, um, collapse of financial institutions. This is all happening globally because as a civilization, we need to overcome feelings of fear. We need to let that go to raise our vibrational frequency. So being in service is one quick way to do that. And you don't always have to give money or give time. Some of us don't have $100, or maybe we don't even have $10. Some of us have children, and we don't have eight hours on a Saturday. And that's OK. I'll be telling you stories of other ways we can be in service. The fastest way, y'all, to lower your vibrational frequency is by being judgmental. We don't want to judge anyone. We often don't know what others' life lessons are. Some people have very difficult life lessons, and it makes them a little grumpy. You may have a boss or a friend or a family member that's like this. But try not to judge others. Try and be understanding. The angels really want us to run our actions and our thoughts and our words through our heart chakras before we speak to others. It's important. It's important for raising our vibrational frequency. We need to keep love in our hearts. Now, I'm just going to explain this to you, how my angels explain it to me. We have a good karma piggy bank, and we've got a bad karma piggy bank. And every word that we speak, every action that we take, and even every thought that we think puts a coin in either our good karma piggy bank or our bad karma piggy bank. So, you know, I can tell you 10 years ago, I was angry spice, y'all. I was so angry. I was angry watching the news and how horrific people are. And one of my best friends said, Nikki, go get some therapy. And I did. And it took me a long time. It took me 10 years or so to think positive, to feel positive thoughts, and to do positive things every day of my life. It's hard. Um, sometimes my angels have me do things so I can sort of experience it, and then I can write about it and talk about it.